with Johnny Sauter uh, before the Jim Sauter Classic. It's hard to believe that it took this long for a race to be named in honor of your dad, isn't it? To be honest with you, I never gave it a lot of thought because um, I just know that that's not something my dad would have ever really wanted or asked for or anything like that. So um, never gave it a lot of thought. And then obviously Greg texted me and asked me about it. And I was like, heck, yeah, if you want to try to pull something like that off, let's do it. So, um, yeah, it's cool. Uh, obviously got a lot of family, a lot of friends going to come here today. This is kind of our home track growing up, uh, you know, 40 minutes from here in Nasita. So, um, but it's really cool. I, uh, you know, I, I think of my dad more as a dad than I do a race car driver. But, um, you know, he, he was pretty successful on the racetrack as well. So it's, uh, this is going to be a fun night. One of the things that I think is cool about uh, when you got started racing and, and your siblings is your dad said you got to do it yourself. And that's, uh, that's how you did it, wasn't it? Pretty much, yeah. No, he, uh, you know, even... Um, just building the car, he would obviously give you input and try to help you, try to steer you in the right direction. Um, but he wasn't really in a position where he was going to just stroke checks for you to go to the racetrack. And, and then ultimately, I think he came here with me. I first started here at the Dells in 96 with a street stock. He came here maybe one or two nights. And uh, maybe it's because I was running into everything. <laughs> Didn't want to be with me. But, um, you know, he just said, if you want it bad enough, you'll figure out a way to do it. And uh, you'll pay attention to your chassis, what makes it better, what makes it worse, and, and just learn those lessons. So um, I feel like you know, 20 some years later, I, I feel like I got a pretty good idea of, you know, pretty ev everything on a race car. I built this whole race car here um, and um, and continue to enjoy that. You know, I don't just do it because you have to. I do it because I enjoy it. Working on the race car is almost as fun as driving it. Is this where you, Dells Raceway Park, where you turned your first laps, right? Sure is. Yeah. Uh, what do you remember about that night? I remember wrecking a lot, running into <laughs> stuff. I didn't know what I was doing. You know, back then you didn't test or anything. You just showed up to the racetrack and drop the green flag. So, you know, I had watched a lot of racing going to the racetrack with my dad and my brother, older brothers. Um, so you kind of have an idea what you're supposed to be doing, but, uh, I was just, I remember running into a few people and, uh, not much has changed. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, just didn't really know what I was doing. So I had a lot of lessons to learn. And that first year I learned a lot of lessons the hard way. You, uh, I talked to Casey Johnson about last year's event here. Uh, you and him, some hard racing. I'll ask you, take me through those last couple of laps last year for this event. Yeah, I just, like you said, hard racing. And, uh, you know, I kind of ran up the racetrack a little bit on him there. And I took full <laughs> full blame for whatever happened at the end of the race. I mean, um, I'm not. A he got over it, by the way. Yeah, no, it, it's all good. I, You know, it's just sometimes things happen in racing and sometimes you're proud of them, sometimes you're not. So that was one of them days where I kind of was like, ah, I shouldn't have maybe done that, but I took responsibility for it and, uh, talked to him about it. So, um, you know, sometimes in racing you'll have run-ins with guys, but if they could take responsibility for it, it's not so bad, but, um, yeah, it was just good hard racing. And, and I really wanted to win that 10 grand. You take, uh, you've taken the, the Sutter or the Sutter family name. Now your, your son, Penn is racing and you're kind of, you're kind of the dad who uh, is trying to teach his son about racing. He's running the Bandoleros. How's that experience been for you, the dad? It's a lot less uh, pressure. You know, and most people think that you're nervous standing there watching them race. And I'm like, no, at least I don't have to do the driving part. So um, it's just fun to work on it, teaching him about race cars. I think racing has gotten a lot more technical uh, over the last, you know, 20 years or so. From when I first started, you know, you pretty much had a basic setup back in the day. And uh, things just change so fast now. They evolve so fast, technology. So I think it's prudent to uh, to be there trying to help him along the way, teach him about the race car as much as I can, but just get him laps, you know. Um, those Bandolero kids, they didn't have anything like that when I was growing up. So um, they're starting them young uh, nowadays, and, and uh, I think it's good. It teaches them race savvy. Um, obviously, a late model or a street stock, whatever, will drive different moving forward, but it's just teaching them race, uh, race etiquette, so to speak. And, and uh, he's doing a good job with it. We're having fun. The last six times that you have been here to Delta Raceway Park, you've won four of those. So what's the strategy here on this race? What's the pit strategy? How much do you save? When do you go? I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> no, I, you know, the pit strategy thing, my brother just asked me the same thing, what I was thinking. And I said, it just depends on how the cautions fall. Um, I don't think you want to get yourself in a, a situation where you pit too late because track position is pretty important. So you kind of got to be paying attention to all that. You know, I, I ultimately, I think you want to pit somewhere around halfway. Um, you got to go 200 laps on your left side tires regardless. So you're going to have to take care of those. So this is kind of a, 
you know, be aggressive, but be patient also. You got to take care of your left side tires. So um, I know that sounds easier than it is, but uh, sometimes you want to race the guy in front of you or try to get by him and, and you got to re remind yourself, hey, there's there's more time. So 200 laps at the Dells is a long race and uh, you just got to be smart. The thoughts of Johnny Sauter. He'll race tonight in the red number five in the Jim Sauter Classic.